six after so we can get started. Um, I just started the recording and I'm going to share my screen. Uh, can everyone see that? All right. Well, um, thank you everyone for coming. Uh, just a reminder, uh, the Purple WRT meetings are recorded and we post them on YouTube for folks uh, to see so, um, and uh, others can uh, keep up with what's going on here and, and, and participate. Um, pretty standard meeting um, and we can jump right into it. I uh, just wanted to do some um, – we're still wrapping up the things with SCAL, uh, particularly as it relates to the ADB um, ADB integration. Uh, and there's been some discussions on the base camp about kind of the event topic. Um, Felix uh, told me he, he couldn't be at this meeting. Um, so uh, the big thing that I wanted to, to talk about is, is, is Emmanuel, do you have any like, um, like uh, things you want to you know, bring up here that you think that uh, what you feel needs to be done to get to the like a at the very least, a release of some sort. Um, so. Emmanuel? Are, are you speaking? Sorry. Oh, there. Hey. there. Okay, fine. Because, okay, changing the devices, so I... I wasn't sure to 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 be able to speak. Yep. So I I tried to to yes to find some some sort of agreements and to to write some thoughts about this topic on Basecamp because uh, we would like to finish this uh, the integration with uh, SCAL and uh, our CM CWMP implementation. So I think that in SCAL uh, at the moment is missing the the trigger for the events that are coming from the parameters. I mean, we don't have the trigger for these uh, parameters that we are developing. For example, now we are developing the management server object, and uh, so it's the least a small example in Scala for doing this, for, manage, for managing this part, and uh, we don't have uh, a, a way to, to trigger these uh, this event on this uh, object or these parameters uh, uh, back to the to our CM implementation basically to our configuration manager implementation. Mm -hmm. So Felix is trying to propose a, a mechanism based on a, on a polling uh, system. I'm quite uh, afraid about this because uh, usually we have uh, tens or uh, hundreds of parameters that we should monitor and uh, I'm quite afraid about the fact that uh, we should, we could have uh, uh, quite a huge overhead on this. So I would prefer an event-based mechanism but uh, it all does basically that it's quite difficult to integrate all these mechanisms in the, in the UC part mm -hmm. and the UCI part and uh, so basically we are going uh, I had with this discussion and uh, I would be very happy if we can find a solution for this or we can have a basic mechanism based on events basically. I yeah. don't know, at the end we can try to find a solution for this but I could also uh, accept that at the beginning we can have a polling mechanism system for this implementation, but I think that at, at the end we should think to something more scalable. Absolutely, and uh, I, I think that's a good summary. Um, and, and Felix, uh, when I talked to him, I mean, he said on the on the uh, the thread, but I think also he, uh, even when I talked to him a little bit before the um, the the carrier interest group meeting this morning, he he, I know he said that he's like his basic thought was. Yes, we're going to. There's going to be things that are going to need something more advanced than polling, but uh, to get started, it's probably not a bad, a bad first step for you know sending the events back from via U bus. Um, so, uh, I mean, are 
are, are you okay with, you know, if that's how it's handled for, you know, especially for that, you know, the 20 parameters we're talking about here, that as a start, that, that, that the polling would be an acceptable mechanism? Yeah, I think that uh, in the this early stage we we can accept it uh, in order to to speed up the process. Um, I just would clarify with mm -hmm. Felix which kind of implementation he, he was thinking about. If he wants to integrate this polling mechanism inside the SCAL implementation with a plugin, or if uh, he wants to have a separate daemon to manage this polling. I just asked this question to, to, to Felix on Basecamp mm -hmm. in the last hour, so I think that it will answer in the next yeah. uh, day. Probably. My, my interpretation is that it would be in the plugin, but um, I, yeah, I, you'll have to, he'll, I'm sure he can say so. Because uh, the amount of work necessary to get um, from where we are to that is pretty minimal. Um, I don't think it's going to be very much, but as long as we can get that very clearly clarified, we can, if either, if uh, we can't do it ourselves, we can pay, we can uh, fund Felix's work to do that, and I don't think it's going to be significant to get there. Um, but it's, it's very important that we, we get to a, we get to where we need to be so we can, we can kind of wrap up this first round so we can continue to move on because um, once you, st you know, we start moving things into SCAL for the, you know, some of the TR-181, we're, you know, we, we want to be able to move forward and continue funding projects. So it's important that we kind of get this wrapped up as uh, as rapidly as we can. But uh, good to see all the discussion and, and the progress. I'm, I'm really happy with that. And um, uh, so thank you very much, Emmanuel, for uh, for really taking the taking the lead on that. Thanks sir, to you. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Definitely. That's great. Um, any other uh, comments or questions on SCAL related topic? All right. Um, the uh, the carrier interest group update. I don't think there's uh, most of the people are involved in that, so I will just uh, I'll do do them quickly. The low level API update. We had a meeting today. Um, we went through the uh, previously written recommendation document for Wi-Fi. Um, and got some feedback on there. We also went through the goals and objectives for the uh, group, and it was it seemed pretty straightforward. Uh, people seemed to kind of be on the same page. Bruce also provided a document that really focused on um, understanding the reference points of where different levels of these APIs could work, and I think it was very valuable because that kind of allowed everyone to kind of understand exactly what the uh, next uh, where each of these levels is going to going to be handled um, and, and it was very helpful so that is that uh, I will be posting that on base camp in a, in a after this meeting um, also uh, the uh, software stack independent API uh, that meeting we we had that on Monday if I remember correctly uh, that was uh, it was a good meeting. Uh, there, there's a little more kind of uh, getting agreement on exactly what level we want to do this. Uh, I think that uh, we can get we can get to there, but uh, it's going to probably take a meeting or two um, to get to there because uh, everybody has a little bit different idea on what the what the best level is to do this. Um, but I, I tend to think that we're going to get there, um, and uh, I don't think it's going to take really all that long once we kind of uh, formalize that. And I think Bruce is. Uh, document uh, on explaining the levels of of where the APIs could happen it will actually be probably helpful to make sure that we're on the same page. Um, excuse me. Uh, so the updates with both of those is though both of those groups are going to have their meetings uh, in two weeks. Um, Excuse me again. The low-level API is going to have their meeting at uh, 7 a.m. Pacific. I'm sorry for the, the the West Coast, but that's the time that worked for people. Um, in two weeks, um, let me check my calendar quick. That is uh, the 20th. Uh, the uh, meeting for the Software Stack Independent API will be actually not be on the 17th because that is a Easter Monday which is a holiday in Europe and we are going to instead do it on the 18th 
at the same time, which is 9 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, are there any kind of questions or comments or something I, I didn't cover in that that people want to bring up? I think you can move on. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Zhao. Um, purple purple feed. Uh, this was actually really interesting. I, I don't know if the if folks had uh, looked into this. The OWSD, the um, WebSocket uh, publishing of UBus. Uh, apparently, somebody uh, outside of the group of um, outside of here uh, tried to uh, submit it to the lead uh, lead core, uh, which is well, cool. But um, so I, I don't know if Inteno and Satur had decided exactly how they want to go ahead with that. If they want to. You know, just have it in lead core, or if we want to do it in purple feed. I mean, it doesn't. If it if it's in lead core, there's no point in putting it in the purple feed. Um, so, do you, do you have any update there? I wasn't aware of the fact that that has occurred. Um, oh, okay. Maybe somebody else knows more about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. I I think it was someone. I think it was Daver maybe had had uh, from Satura had mentioned something about that. Um, it was kind of sent, I think it was sent, marked as a uh, request for comment, so I'm, I'm not sure how serious it is about putting it actually into uh, lead, but I, it was it was somebody, um, I'm not sure I remember who it was, but it was it was a core contributor who was said, oh yeah, I'm using this for my own use, we could submit it to lead uh, internally. So, uh, I guess... Uh, folks can work through that and whether they want to put it still in purple feed or, or put it there. Um, it's uh, really, I don't think yeah, it I'll, ask, I'll ask Shuku. I'll ask Shuku if, he, if he's aware, but if that's been done. Okay. Sounds good. Um, for uh, purple feed, uh, Emmanuel, were you, uh, do you know if uh, ADB was intending putting your, your uh, TR069 implementation work in uh, the purple feed? Um, at the moment, we didn't speak about this internally. Mm -hmm. um, uh, about the TR69 implementation, I'm not sure that... Uh, uh, <clears throat> we are not sure about the implementation the fact that we should implement this open source because we already submitted our, our implementation uh, to to GitLab for the um, for the members of uh, Purple and uh, we are not sure about this move uh, that uh, Felix decided to, to do basically so um, can, can you explain us a little better why you decided to um, propose uh, an open source implementation for GWMP. Uh, oh, the the one that Felix proposed. Uh, Felix proposed that basically um, there was some. Uh, he just proposed it himself, and we passed it along. I'm not sure that that is a. Um, I think the current feeling I I've talked with Art is that. We think it's a it's an interesting idea, but it isn't really consistent with what we uh, agreed upon in Paris that we would not create a new TR069 uh, stack. But as Felix proposed it, I wanted to put it out there for discussion. Um, I think most important is getting a getting the TR069 and uh, the stacks that we had promised to get make open source to get those out into the community. Um, and more important than propose than actually implementing a new one. I think Felix, um, more power to Felix for proposing it, but I, I don't see that as consistent with what we've already agreed upon. So. Well, anyway, I think that we will speak about this topic internally mm -hmm. a little more, and uh, I try to push uh, internally in order to have uh, it open source. Uh, Great. I think that uh, this could be a good idea also for us. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, please do keep us informed, and and I, uh, it, 
I, I if this group does not feel that uh, you know particularly that Felix's uh, proposal is consistent with the with the uh, what we've agreed upon and you know w that's not where we should spend our money it won't be funded I mean it ultimately comes down to whether this is consistent with what with what our members want and the ultimate the, the goals that we that we've set so um, it's really uh, I, but my my initial discussions with art and myself is that it's a really cool idea and maybe sometime down the road it's a better idea and it's something that could be funded but right now our initial thought is that it's not really consistent um, and it'd be good to get a get some open source um, implementations out there and as part of that we're going to figure out if there's a need at some point for another one um, that needs to be funded and uh, the initial thought being no but we, I guess we we can learn as we go so does all that make sense I, with everyone Yes, I fully agree. Okay. Awesome. Great. Um, so uh, certainly, uh, if you have, uh, we certainly would like the the soft at home uh, implementation as well in the purple feed, um, a, as well as anything else that anyone has to uh, has interest in. Uh, so, anything else about purple feed that anyone wants to discuss? All right, uh, board farm. Uh, as is common, I have not had anything close to time to work on anything related to that, so I will not uh, comment much on that. Um, Zhao, have have you guys uh, made any kind of progress on on your decisions on what you want to do related to board farm? Well, we 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 have been working on this. Uh, we the, our strategy is not uh, entirely closed, but uh, we would like to take the ownership of these and uh, support the, uh, the validation of the OpenWRT and right now we are currently discussing uh, what is uh, the best approach and even the, the test structure because there's a lot of validation to do and, uh, and we feel that there might come a lot of test cases and we don't want to have 200 files or 300 files, we want to have uh, everything is split and well organized and right now this is what we are working on. So we are trying to split uh, things into phases mm -hmm. and say let's say let's start with validating the services, maybe start with validation DNS proxy, then mm -hmm. the DHCP server, then the UPnP client and so on. So this is these are the main topics that we are currently uh, discussion. I don't know when we will have something to present, but we do plan to maybe start to produce some sort of roadmap to share uh, with the community and also hear some feedback. That, that's great, definitely. Um, and if you need any more um, anything related to the board, board farm source code, uh, or any need, you know, get in contact with anyone. Certainly, please do so, and I'm happy to facilitate anything more with that. So, um, thank you, thank you for taking taking the lead on this because this, yeah, it's uh, you're, I think you're going to do a great job, and it's going to be great. So, thank you. Anything else related to Board Farm that anyone wanted to mention? All right, uh, Open WRT Summit. Uh, we had a meeting um, yesterday to discuss location, the particular location in uh, Prague. Uh, the current the the decision was to go to the ho hotel Hotel Oshanka. Um, it is uh, it's relatively uh, reasonably priced. I mean, accommodations for fifty six dollars a night. Uh, Prague, the people at CZ Nick uh, strongly recommended it. Uh, it really fits our need to be to be inexpensive, but also you know provides us with what we need. Um, we kind of have a budget that we're that we total the total budget of of about twenty thousand dollars. Where our goal is, we're going to. Um, ask for uh, sponsors of course and we may have some minimal uh, ticket uh, price uh, we haven't we haven't finalized either of that 
I, either of how those are exactly going to work, but that's kind of uh, on the plan for the next week, next few weeks to kind of get that firmed up. Uh, so I, I think this is this is a really good choice. Uh, everyone seemed to pre be pretty happy with it in the meeting, and uh, and uh, the folks at CZ Nick have done a spectacular job in in really on the ground uh, getting this getting this done because you know they know the place better. CZ Nick has also offered to uh, uh, cover the uh, the social event that will be in the the middle of the two days. Uh, so we're, we're very thankful for that, too. Um, I'm not sure there's too much else related to the OpenWRT Summit. Um, any questions or comments about this? Uh, I have mm -hmm. a question, but it's about our possible face-to-face -face meeting. Yes. Are there any news about that? Yes. I was actually need to email email you Wojtek. Uh but uh, I've I've talked with uh, uh, some of the people of the chipset makers um, unsurprisingly Silicon Valley is significantly easier for them um, and I have uh, was going to ask you about if we wanted to if we felt that it would be okay doing it again in Silicon Valley or if we really want to do it in Europe I, I'm open to either way um, it's, it's really I want to know what you feel is best so my feeling is that the chipset uh, makers are a key companies for everything we do in this area. Uh, so I prefer to move to the Silicon Valley and have them on board than mm -hmm. to have a meeting uh, not far from home but without those guys. Yeah, I, I would. I would. Uh, I, I, that was kind of my feeling. Um, my, uh, I've asked Qualcomm and they said that they would be willing to host. Um, so we will, uh, as long as it's fine with everyone, they will, we will work it out with them. I'm going to send out a doodle uh, to kind of work out dates. My kind of general timeline, I'm thinking, is uh, maybe uh, the middle of May, um, either somewhere between the 8th and the 22nd, those, those three weeks, uh, is kind of the, the running time that I think is, is probably where we're going to want to, want to fit this in. Uh, my all my so oh, for me that's that's a problem. That's precisely okay. the worst time in the next few months for me. <laughs> okay, uh, I already have several uh, different uh, meetings uh, far from home at uh, in, in the middle of May. Okay, so, uh, it would be. I'm just looking at my calendar, but I have a problem. Like I have a problem. My calendar is completely full in the middle of May. Okay, that's not a good time then. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I'm afraid it will be rather in the beginning of June that it will be possible. Maybe the 5th through the 9th, somewhere in that area? Somewhere in that week? Uh, just... Okay, I've got my calendar. Uh, <laughs> So the last week of May is could be acceptable to I, I mean the the week that starts on uh, Monday twenty uh, ninth. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll I think we'll then ask about that week of the 29th and the fifth then, and kind of see what what times work for everyone there. Um, as long as it's fine with everyone, my kind of uh, thinking was that we would not just do the carrier interest group meetings. Uh, but also maybe since we're all together, uh, if possible, to to also do some other uh, working groups that purple either from you know here either OpenWRT or any other of the working groups. Yeah. The it, it makes sense since we're together and make Absolutely. it say two days and go through both yeah. go through all that. Um. So yeah, it'd be kind of like a mini purple summit, I guess we'll make it out to be. Um. I will. Uh, I'll be sending out the doodle to with, to to folks. Uh, hopefully today, maybe tomorrow. We'll we'll see what when I get it done. Um, but I think that that is the general, the 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 plan then. Oh no, no, we're talking about a a meeting, a meeting, um, not a dedicated meeting between Soft and Home and the chipset vendors. No, certainly not. Pay, a Pedro. 
uh, the the just everybody involved in the carrier interest group and any part of purple, I think, really. Um, it, do you have any additional thoughts, Pedro? I think that we discussed this in the past, right there. Uh, mm -hmm. The the point to to understand exactly if this is something uh, uh, to be discussed in a more private way, uh, and that's the reason why you need to also the ship set suppliers. It really depends on what's in the agenda, right? Yep. No, I agree. So if that is the case, to schedule something in the in the US, then fine. Okay. Yeah. It, it's it's to have everybody involved and. Uh, particularly for the carrier interest group, um, as but also then any other topics that are related. Um, I, I think though that we should commit to after this meeting uh, to do it in Europe the next time we have a face to face, uh, because we certainly have asked the uh, the European folks to now come twice. So I, I am very supportive of that. Yeah, I think Inter, at least the guys involved from Inter prefer Europe. Um. Yeah, no, I, I understand. Um. Hey. I think this is exactly the point, right? So yes. uh, depending on the target you're trying to achieve, it might make sense to do in the West or in the Europe, correct? Okay. Because uh, yeah. I'm in Europe, but I also receive uh, a lot of times uh, meetings with Intel, Broadcom, or Qualcomm. Right, and they do not mind to come here. Okay. Uh, the point is that for us to move on to the US, I believe it's more easy probably for Foyatech, uh, but uh, for us it's uh, not that easy. But again, uh, it really depends on each uh, individual agenda, and on this case, this is just my opinion. Okay, that's fair. Any other thoughts on this? All right. Um, well, I guess then our next steps are, do we want to open up the discussion about where we're doing this, or do we want to uh, simply move ahead with the Silicon Valley? Um, I'm, it, it's really up to the members on, on what they feel is best and how they want to, you know, do, do we want to wait to define the agenda? Do we want to, um, what exactly, how do we want to move forward in this? Uh, you know, for me, the, the main point is to um, maybe to, to have some uh, final work on our um, API topic. Mm -hmm. And according to, to my experience, uh, this kind of things uh, can go forward the best during a face-to-face -face meeting. And as the chipset vendors are absolutely key to this job, this is why, for me, that's absolutely the, the most important participant. Uh, I'm sorry to say that, but if they don't support it, whatever we'll do will not have a lot of value. I think I think that's a that's a very good point, Wojtek. Um I I I got some uh, some mixed responses I would have to say um, from some people on, on on the Europe. It wasn't generally an absolute no, but it was a pretty significant. We we wouldn't get as much participation. Um, but that is I think uh, it might be useful um, for each of the groups. Uh, the subcommittees, uh, subgroups of the carrier interest group, is along with the chairs particularly, to kind of set out what you feel the agenda is going to be so we can really have something to show uh, everyone to feel where is the appropriate place. Uh, how, do, how do folks feel about that? That's fine. Okay. Um, if it's fine with everyone else, we will we'll go ahead with that, and we'll have to do that in the next... Um, you know, uh, less than a week to really get to really get that, so that people are very clear, and then you know can get a yes or no as whether they're going to be 
they can they can go they would be willing to travel i guess is a is the best way to describe it hey guys you you want to be sure that in the in may i will have four travels to different parts of the world uh, so i will be the most happy to have something uh, in europe but once again i think uh, it, if, I, if the only option to have the, the chips advantages is to have the meeting in the Silicon Valley, I accept it. Right. All right. We will we will go forward with uh, with that working plan. Um, and uh, and uh, we'll we will keep everyone up to date on this. All right. Um, the agenda, I think uh, we've gone through all the things on my agenda. Um, Hauke, I, I hate to put you on the spot, but uh, are there any updates on the um, the, the remerge process? Uh, no. <laughs> That's okay. I figured, I thought I would ask. Um, please do keep us informed. If there's anything I can do, um, I've kind of thought through some of the, you know, what is all needs to be included in that. If you'd like kind of me to write up a list of what I've thought of, it maybe just to guide the process, um, I'd be happy to. Yeah, I think we already have such a list or at least something is there in some mail. Um. Okay. All right. Well, um, please do... Uh, Keep us informed and uh, and keep keep at it as as quickly as as it can be done because yeah you don't need me to tell you so that it, that it's important um, yeah okay definitely um, any other topics that anyone wanted to discuss uh, hi Eric yes uh, yep. I would like to know if you have any update about the ongoing discussions between OpenWRT and Leather oh that that was that was just what was Hauke was talking about, the remerge discussion. Uh, sorry, because I, I just uh, had to get out of my desk, so I missed it. No. Uh, Is it the, possible for you to just provide uh, yeah. a quick update? It's quick because there's there's really no update. Um, it, the, the, the vote happened. It's all just going through the process of actually all the merging and all the agreement and how everything needs to happen. Um, and, you know, Hauke's kind of taken the lead on that. So I've offered unsupport offered my help as as much as I can so um, and reiterated that it is important which Hauke certainly knows okay thank you yep, yep. all right uh, any other uh, any other topics that anyone wants to discuss all right um, I think one thing that I think would be valuable is is now that we've kind of we're starting to wrap up the the initial scale work. I think it might be valuable for all of us to consider what how to make this group um, what are the topics this group should work on going forward. Um, is is it simply you know make expanding the the mini TR one eighty one plugin that is likely going to be needed to for people to bridge into, is it uh, is it something else? Um, and if we want to expand any of these any of the topics or drop any of the topics going forward, it's always good to to reevaluate as we go. Um, and if if goals or uh, or uh, situations have changed, so um, as always, please do you know consider if there's a new topic you think we should discuss. It's or any of the topics aren't valuable or or whatnot. Please do. Think about it and, and you know mention it in a meeting or on the uh, mailing list or or anywhere. So, all right. Um, unless there's anything else, uh, I will. We can end this meeting a little early. All right. Well, uh, thank okay. thank you everyone and. Uh, uh, Talk to you next week. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Yeah. Bye. See you. Bye.